could only really see upside. And, and when I was thinking about the, the the type of squad that we were looking to build, you know, a lot of young and experienced players as well. Um, I thought he could really bring something to the not just on the field but off the field as well. The way he looks after himself, because uh, I know he's extremely professional, disciplined cricket centre. It was something that I was always really, really keen to do. I'd, I'd done it before with, with Gloucestershire a couple of years ago. You know, super excited that I was, you know, back at, you know, being able to play overseas again and, and play some cricket. So I felt really open to that. Um, I was really looking forward to the opportunity to captain. That's something that I've, um, you know, I was really excited about. You know, really obvious to me that, you know, the guys have come up with some, you know, with some values and with some things that they measures they want to be accountable for, which is fantastic. Um, you know, saying it is one thing, but then also, but then applying it to yourself and also to the team, that's a completely different thing. And that, that requires a lot of honesty and communication and accountability and um, it becomes difficult, you know, um, you get challenged quite a lot. So, you know, in the short period of time I've been here, there's been times where, um, you know, we've been very good um, and there's been times where we've been challenged a lot. Um, and I wouldn't expect anything less, you know, when you're trying to grow as, as players and as um, people um, and as a team, you, um, you're going to go through and ride those waves. So um, it's been exciting. Um, it's been some really positive things. Um, it's been some things we can get better at. And, um, you know, that's part of human growth. And um, I think it's, it's awesome, with what, you know, the direction the club are willing to go in. Yeah, I think naturally, whether I play club cricket or whether I'm playing for Western Australia or the Scorchers or for Durham, for that matter, um, you know, I always feel a little bit of nerves. Um, but I th it, when I got out in the middle, honestly, it was like silence. Honestly, it was like meditation in ways for me. It was um, I was out there playing a game um, and I was batting, which is what I really love to do and enjoy doing. And um, I was having fun doing it. So, um, you know, I think once once that happens, your you sort of natural instincts take over. And, um, yeah, it was, it was really nice to spend a little bit of time out in the middle in that game. Um, yeah, hopefully I can keep doing that a lot more as the season progresses. it's a pretty good format of the game to play it it's a mixture of requires a bit of patience um, it also requires a little bit of positivity as well so um, you know I was able to have um, you know have a really good start there um, you know and I, and I feel like I've given myself every chance to do that in the game sort of proceeding as well but um, you know, it's always nice to start well for your club, and um, yeah, from that point of view, I was yeah, I was really happy, like getting to know my teammates, and then um, you know, getting to know them as people, getting to know them as cricketers. It ultimately helps, um, you know, your relationships, and it helps your performance out in the middle. And um, you know, fans really, you know, Durham anyway, they're really passionate, aren't they? We've had some great attendances, as you said, and I think just being able to walk down the race on a match day, be able to, you know, have a chat to the members, uh, you know, it just, it breaks down, um, you know, I guess, who they, who they feel you are as a person to, for them it's become more authentic and, um, you know, that's what I've really enjoyed so far, um, you know, I look forward to doing that again, um, you know, throughout the whole season and, and, and at away fixtures as well, it's, um, it's a beautiful part of English cricket, I think how intimate that connection is between fans and players. You know, the, there's been a lot of great things, early doors that have happened, and um, I think that's really exciting, and over at the club's pumped, and, and, and I'm absolutely pumped as well. So um, hopefully we can keep performing well, keep learning, uh, keep growing as a team and as people, and you know, have a lot of success moving forward. I think he's won over um, the vast majority of the uh, the doubters, but I've got to say the vast majority of people 
that I've spoken to the first when they heard about the signing and appointing him as captain um, and people who I respect um, in the game um, were overwhelmingly positive saying that's a good move and that is a good signing and I think it's proved to be the case.